Hello, and welcome to Fenwick and Trinity High School's virtual college fair. My name is Becca Russo, and I will be facilitating this event today. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, just a few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. This presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week at strivescan.com backslash Friar Blazers. So now I'd like to turn it over to our presenters. First up, we have the University of Notre Dame. Take it away. Great, hello. Uh, my name is Elisa Fisher. I'm Senior Associate Director of Admissions at the University of Notre Dame, coming to you from my home. Uh, and uh, happy to be here, just down the street from campus, but haven't been there too often uh, this past year. Um, we are a university that is Catholic and global and research-based, uh, has about uh, 8,700 undergraduates and about almost 4,000 graduate students. Uh, one of the hallmarks of Notre Dame is uh, that students live on the campus, so it is very residential in nature. Um, granted, this year has been a little bit different. Uh, in how we've operated. Uh, we maybe have had more students living off campus because they wanted to. But our hope is always that, you know, part of our college life is that residentiality and that students enjoy living in um, the residence halls that are, that are right on the campus. We are university structured uh, with a first year. Uh, the first year of studies um, is allows students to come into the university and confirm what they want to study. So this first year is uh, the program to which you actually apply when you apply to the university. You do not apply directly to any of our colleges or our two schools. So you come in, you make up, you come into this first year, you are taking classes that'll lead you to your area of interest, um, but you have the chance to change your mind if that's what happens. And about 70% of our graduating seniors from Notre Dame have made that decision to either change or to combine. Uh, many students come into the university really unaware that there's a, there's a major out there or a minor or an area of study that they're really gonna, they're gonna love it. And it's unexpected. So you can make combinations beyond the entry point and to know that. We do not base our decisions on what you mark down on the application, but we do not have undecided as a choice. So you do have to give us an indication of what you think you might wanna study in college. It's not a commitment, but it is. Um, it does help us really check that in high school, you've taken the courses that will prepare you to be successful in the particular area, most often in the STEM area. We wanna check that you've had the full mathematics load, that you've had chemistry and, and physics as well. So we're just checking and you can be admitted even if you're missing one of those particular subjects or courses. It's just, we're going to advise you uh, that it's probably a pretty good idea to take a, an online course. It's often physics uh, that might be missing to take an online course to, um, you know, just prep with a book to give yourself the information because you want to be on the same page as your classmates coming into that particular area. We have four colleges within the university. The four colleges are arts and letters and business and science and the Mendoza College of Business. We also have um, uh, two schools, the School of Architecture and the School of, uh, the Keough School of Global Affairs. The, that's a new, relatively new school to Notre Dame and very popular. At this point, uh, Keough is offering secondary majors. So in other words, your major would be in engineering or science or arts and letters or business, and you could be taking a secondary major in the Keough School. The School of Architecture, by the way, is a five-year uh, program. We have a few five-year programs, but it is also the only five-year, the only program at Notre Dame that does have a built-in mandatory international experience in Rome, Italy. 
and hopefully we'll get back, those students will get back to Rome soon. Uh, but that is part of the experience of the architecture program. Uh, in talking a little bit about, you know, we're just getting through, in fact, are finalizing our decisions uh, for next fall. And so it's very fresh in my mind uh, what we are looking for in our students. We are looking for strength in your academic program, rigor. Uh, we look for leadership. We look for um, the experiences that you've had. We look for personal qualities. Uh, that is, those personal qualities are you know, revealed by you in your writing and also by the school. Uh, the school giving you support through, and we, we, I know both your, uh, the schools, Trinity and Fenwick very well. Counselors are in place to give you very good support and we ask for one teacher evaluation to be included in your application. So we're taking a look at you in your entirety, um, your whole life, what you enjoy doing besides being a student, um, whatever experience you, you've had. I think we do look for that sense of service, uh, the uh, desire to be of service to others, uh, both through your college experience and beyond. So we you know, encourage you to share whatever you've enjoyed doing that has helped others. And also what you enjoy doing, be it athletic teams, uh, whatever that might be. We have great financial aid. Uh, we have some merit scholarship opportunities. And we also have uh, a hope that you will come back to campus and visit. We're not that far away. As I mentioned, 90 miles uh, isn't too far to come. Uh, but at this point, our office isn't open. We hope to reopen, I think, in the summertime for visitors. So thank you. Thanks so much. Up next, we have Indiana University Bloomington. Hi, guys. Uh, my name is Mary Wintercorn, and I'm the Senior Assistant Director of Admissions. I actually um, am based in Florida, and I'm helping out my coworker, Emily, today, who is on maternity leave. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Sorry, it's giving me a little bit of a problem. Take your time. Do, sorry, do you want to skip to the next person? I'm going to restart the that program. Sure thing. This time. Sure thing. Um, up next, we have St. Mary's University of Minnesota, as long as you're ready. Thanks so much, Allie. Absolutely, no problem. So my name is Allie Borowski. Um, I work at St. Mary's University of Minnesota. I'm actually a Trinity alum, class of 2014. So it's really exciting to be here. Um, I will start on our first page talking about academics. Um, so we have a bunch of different major pathways to choose from. Our biggest three would be science, pre-health, um, also education and business programs. Um, but we have 40 other ones to choose from, lots of different options, about 36 different minors to choose from. Um, something tradition-wise is we're a liberal arts school, meaning we will have students take a wide variety of courses so that they have a general knowledge in all things um, kind of related to their major, but also not related to their major. Something that's really, really exciting about our school is that our average class size is 16 students. Um, so nice, small, hands-on learning, get to know your professor and they get to know you, which really, really helps with learning. So our campus, um, we are located in Winona, Minnesota. It's about a five hour drive north. Um, if you know where La Crosse, Wisconsin is, we're about a 30 minute drive from there. Um, when it comes to our campus life, 85% of our students are living on campus, and that's all four years. Um, so we're really, really big community. 
Um, when it comes to our actual size of campus, we have about 450 acres of campus. Um, so that's including all of our buildings, but then also the bluffs, which some people will think are mountains, um, but we're kind of nestled in the bluffs. So really, really beautiful location um, with a lot of hiking trails. Um, we have a trout stream on campus where students can actually go fishing, uh, disc golf course, cross country skiing in the winter. Um, so kind of year round, lots of outdoor opportunities. We also have a lot of uh, restaurants in town, but also within walking distance. So if you're looking to get off campus a little bit, we have a perfect kind of location where you're able to get away from campus, but still be really close that you don't have to feel like you gotta get in your car and drive. Um, we were also named the number one safest college town in 2016. When it comes to our student profile, we have about almost 1,100 undergraduate students. Um, again, like I said, 85% of those students are living on campus all four years. So what's really nice about that is you get to know students on campus, um, but then you also get to meet new people. You think with 1,100 students that you might not know everyone, um, but you really get to know people, but you also will meet new faces every day. Our male to female ratio is about 50-50, a little more skewed towards female, but you really can't tell the difference on our campus. We also really come from all over. So 31 different states are represented in 19 countries. Um, obviously our biggest kind of pull would be Midwest states. So um, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Illinois, Iowa, Michigan, um, but still also kind of students from West Coast, East Coast, down South. Um, so we really try and make sure that we have a wide variety of students on our campus. When it comes to student involvement, um, we have a ton of different clubs and organizations that students can choose from um, to get involved in. We have over 65% of our students getting involved in something on campus. Um, truthfully, that's something that's so big, whether it's um, campus ministry, student activities, student senate, so which would be kind of like student government. Um, and then other recreation things when it comes to intramurals and club sports. Um, we also have an outdoor leadership club that does a lot of things within our um, campus, but then also in town. So um, kind of Winona is a really big college town. There's two other schools besides St. Mary's in Winona. Um, so a lot of students have a lot of opportunities within our town. Um, we also are a really big athletic school. We have, um, 17 different NCAA Division III sports to choose from. Um, as you can see listed, lots of different opportunities when it comes to finding something that works best for you. Um, we do have 32% um, of our students being student athletes on campus. Um, that's really, really great to have our students involved that way. But if you're not looking for varsity athletics, we do have five intramural sessions for students to choose from. So if you wanna be involved in a sport, but have a little less time involved, intramurals might be something really great. Or we also have diff seven different club opportunities. So if you want to be involved a little more heavily in a sport, but not as heavily as a varsity athletic, doing a club sport's kind of that perfect in between. We also have theater and the arts. Um, that's also a really, really big thing on our campus. Um, we do four to six different shows a year, typically about four plays, musicals, and one to two dance recitals. We have four performance spaces on our campus. Um, so lots of different things to get involved in that way. We also have a dance minor, which is really, really unique. Um, something that students really enjoy doing just because they enjoy you know, doing dance, um, but maybe it's something that they want to just do on the side, not necessarily major in it. We also have nine different choirs and bands on campus, as you can kind of see them listed. So again, many different ways to be involved. Um, we also have talent scholarships based in music, theater, and art. Um, so that's something that's nice. Um, and then we also have two art galleries on campus. And another thing that's really unique to our theater program is we have a study abroad program with our theater students. They go to London and study abroad their junior year. Um, so that's something that's really, really cool that gets students involved. And then they also get to experience something somewhere else. And that is it. Thank you so much. Thanks, Allie. Up next, we have Indiana University Bloomington. Hey everyone, I'm gonna try this again. I apologize for technical issues. 
Right. Are you guys able to see that or no? Not yet. We see that you're starting to screen share. That's a good sign. Okay, I can't get my PowerPoint to load, so I will just give you guys a little bit of information. Um, so again, my name is Mary from Indiana University. So at IU Bloomington, we have about 33,000 undergraduate students, and they come from all 50 states and over 140 different countries. So we have students from all different backgrounds, all walks of life, all with different cultural, political, um, ethnic, and religious backgrounds. So we're very proud of that melting pot that we have on campus. Um, I use very rich in history and tradition, and we built a strong tradition of excellence and innovation both in and out of the classroom. So we have nationally ranked academic programs, um, Division I varsity athletics, and we have a very beautiful campus for you guys to study on. We offer about two, over 200 majors, and um, academically, you'll be able to study at a prestigious university with the flexibility that encourages your creativity and your exploration. Um, we have the Kelly School of Business, which is consistently ranked among the, amongst the nation's best business programs. And Kelly helps students gain business knowledge, confidence, and the necessary fortitude for career success. We also have the Luddy School of Informatics, Computing, and Engineering, and that offers um, a new degree that is a Bachelor's of Intelligent System and Engineering. And this focuses on small scale and mobile technologies. So um, anything that connects to the internet, basically. We also have um, the O'Neill School of Public and Environmental Affairs. So again, over 200 majors to choose from. Students can double major, they can triple major. Um, you can even choose a minor outside of your field of study. So we really wanna help students kind of explore what is um, gonna be the best fit for them. Our faculty and staff on campus, um, they're really leaders in research and teaching and performance. So they're there to um, help our students be the best they can be. Our average class size is about 30 students with fewer than 6% of our classes having over 100 students. So you're really um, getting the best of both worlds. You're getting a large uh, state university, but you're getting to be in small classes also. And we have supported um, environment that really exists to ensure that you feel supported both in academics and in your um, personal life. We have the Hutton Honors College and the Hutton Honors College is um, providing a small liberal arts field with the resources of a large distinguished university. It lets students take rigorous coursework, uh, research with faculty, and you have the opportunity for scholarships and grants as well. Um, resident halls are available, so students can choose to live in the residence halls. Um, even as freshmen, you'll have that opportunity. And we have four different neighborhoods and the um, opportunity for you guys to live with people that are like-minded as you, which is called learning and living communities. So for example, you know, it's common for students to live with others that share their same major, um, but you can also choose to live with people that um, are outdoors and adventurous. We have a fitness and wellness or civic leaders. So there's a lot of different learning living communities um, if you're going to a school that um, you don't know anybody else there. We have over 750 student clubs and organizations. So for you guys looking to get involved outside the classroom, there is a lot to do. Um, we have over 70 Greek life organizations. We have 55 intramural and club sports. Um, so there's really no shortage of activity um, on campus. We also have um, Division I varsity athletics. So you guys will have the opportunity to cheer on our, your fellow Hoosiers and support them in a wide variety of um, Division I varsity sports. Um, applying, if you guys haven't already applied or if you're a junior sitting in thinking about the following year, um, there's three ways to apply. We have the website, um, our specific website for IU you could do the common app or the coalition app. So we don't have a preference which one you do. We just uh, please ask that you only submit one application. Um, so we do have an IU specific essay. So we ask that you submit that. 
along with your um, application fee and your application. And we are test optional this year. So we're really deciding, letting students decide how they best wanna tell their academic story. And that's gonna be indefinitely that we will be test optional for, uh, for students going forward. And that is it. So if anybody has any questions, I'll be happy to answer them in the chat. And again, I apologize for my PowerPoint not working fully. Hey, okay, thank you so much. Up next, we have John Carroll University. Hi everyone, let me go ahead and get my screen started. All right, well, hello. Um, my name is Abby Joyce, an Associate Director of Enrollment at John Carroll University and a JCU alumna, class of 2008. Uh, JCU is one of the 27 Jesuit Catholic universities located in the United States. Our beautiful 60 acre campus is located in University Heights, a suburb of Cleveland, Ohio. As a mid sized liberal arts university located in a major US city, um, you'll have access to the undeniable advantages that both our community and the city of Cleveland offers. US News and World Report ranked John Carroll number two in the Midwest for undergraduate teaching. Um, that's because our, we strive for more than what is required academically, personally, socially, um, and both our faculty and staff um, empower you to achieve what is improbable. Our size is an advantage um, as we are focused on undergraduate education. So while our faculty do amazing research, um, they've chosen JCU because teaching is their top priority. Um, faculty are the ones teaching your classes, which remain pretty small, probably what you're most familiar with right now at the high school level, um, typically about 20 students or less. Um, faculty will, will get to know the real you. Um, they will be able to learn what your strengths are and how do they translate maybe into the right major, the right courses, um, and most importantly, always giving you the confidence being able to perhaps recommend you for internships and practicum experiences, and of course, ultimately that job opportunity. Um, they are able to support you in and out of the classroom to help you reach your potential and meet your goals. We have over 70 academic programs to explore both in our College of Arts and Sciences um, and our nationally ranked Fuller College of Business. To highlight a few, um, accountancy is top notch at JCO. Our students have the highest CPA passage rate in the state of Ohio year after year and rank in the top 20 nationally. On the other side of our campus and on the other end of the spectrum, um, pre-health professions is a pathway for bio and chemistry majors or any student who may be interested in going into the medical fields. Um, as early as freshman year, our students are able to do research on our campus with our faculty or perhaps through an internship research opportunity at the Cleveland Clinic, which is the number two hospital in the nation located just minutes away from our campus. Another very popular uh, program is our exercise science and sports studies major. Um, we are often nationally recognized for our connection to the NFL and the professional sports world. Um, and then finally, entrepreneurship is a very unique program at John Carroll. It is a minor specifically so that students from both colleges can partake. Um, and really develop that entrepreneurial mindset in all different types of careers. Outside the classroom, students are su equally successful in their leadership opportunities within service experiences and athletics. Um, if you're interested in continuing um, as an athlete at the collegiate level, uh, JCU has 23 Division III varsity sports from football, swimming, to lacrosse, to name just a few. Um, coincidentally, um, our football season kicks off today. Uh, so that's really exciting that we are able to have all of our, our full sports programs um, take place throughout this spring semester. Um, with that, we are some opportunities to apply. Um, you can apply to John Carroll exclus exclusively through the common application. We have an early action deadline of December 1st. Um, I'm excited to announce that we are going to be test optional for at least the next two applicant cycles. By applying by December 1st, um, you have the opportunity to also apply to our mission-based scholarship programs that I would describe as a layer to a John Carroll experience. 
Um, so that is our honors program, leadership scholars program, Arupe scholars, which is a focus, more in depth focus on social justice and social action. And then finally, the social innovations program, which is a focus on entrepreneurship. Um, with that, I would also want to highlight that there are various scholarship opportunities available for merit scholarships up to $27,000. Additionally, students from the Chicagoland area are able to apply for our Chicago Alumni Chapter Scholarship. Um, this will be one of the, just one of the first of the many areas of support that you'll recognize from our engaged alumni network. Um, please be sure to visit our website, jcu.edu forward slash admission uh, to learn more about the updates to the application process for this coming year. Um, to connect with me, your enrollment manager, which will be one point of contact throughout your time at, um, as you explore John Carroll, um, to virtually see our campus, to connect through a live information session. Um, but we're also very proud to announce that we are open for in-person visits um, while following all safety protocols. Um, most visits are available on all weekdays and there are certain Saturdays as well. Um, so if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out. Thank you. Thanks, Abby. Up next, we have St. Mary's College of Indiana. Okay, hello everyone. My name is Cara Firestein and I am a senior admission counselor with St. Mary's College. I know both Fenwick and Trinity well, as I've been the admission counselor that works with your high schools for the past four years now. So very excited to be here with you today to share more about St. Mary's. Uh, St. Mary's College was founded in 1844 by the Sisters of the Holy Cross, who came here from Le Mans, France. Um, we've been educating women at the undergraduate level for 175 years now. We do have four graduate programs that are co-ed. Um, but we are going to talk about all things undergraduate today. Um, we are a private Catholic liberal arts institution located in Notre Dame, Indiana, just across the street from the University of Notre Dame and next door to Holy Cross College. Um, our undergraduate enrollment is about 1,600 students. 68% uh, of our students are from out of state. And since you all are from Illinois, about 23% of our students actually are from the state of Illinois as well. In total, our undergraduate population represents 43 states and territories in 16 countries, meaning that you at St. Mary's will get to know students from all over the country and the world. If we were all the same, we'd never learn anything. Um, so at St. Mary's, you will have the opportunity to learn and grow from and with your peers um, from all over over the country and the world. We are just about two hours um, from Fenwick and Trinity, so I think a perfect distance to home. Academically, um, St. Mary's offers over 50 academic programs to choose from. We are dedicated to providing our students with an individualized educational experience. At St. Mary's, you will be more than just a number. Our average class size is about 16 students, so your professors will know you, they'll know your passions and your interests. Um, we do not have TAs in a traditional sense at St. Mary's, so your professors who are you know, grading your papers and um, sitting with you in class, they really will get to know you on a very personal level, and you'll get to know your peers too. Um, there's a strong emphasis on finding your voice both inside the classroom and outside of the classroom. We help our students to hone in on things like communication skills, critical thinking skills, um, problem solving skills. Regardless of your major at St. Mary's, you will leave with those skills and ready and prepared to make a difference in the world. Um, just some of our popular majors, nursing, education, business, psychology, biology, and communication studies are most unique. We have a four plus one um, type program. It's a dual engineering degree with the University of Notre Dame. A speech and language pathology major, we actually have a clinic on campus. So our undergraduate and our um, master's in speech and language pathology students can actually treat patients on our campus. And we have a student design major, which again speaks to that individualized nature of St. Mary's as well. Um, as I mentioned before, we are a women's college, which of course makes us a little bit unique. Um, you know, a women's college, whether you've known anyone who's attended a women's college or not, that is okay. I myself had not known anyone that attended a women's college until I attended St. Mary's, and I'm so, so glad that I did. So when you attend a women's college, some of the things that 
you're going to benefit from. You know, imagine being in a place where everything, and you, I know you Trin um, Trinity students out there know this well, um, but imagine being in a place where everything is done with women in mind. Every decision that we make about the classroom, about the clubs and organizations, um, everything that we do is to help women to discover who they are and where their place in the world is. Um, we will help you to find your voice in the classroom and outside of the classroom so that you're ready to go out into the world. And every single president and vice president and treasurer and person getting an internship around you is going to be a woman. Um, and so seeing that is truly empowering and so, so, so supportive. Um, you'll build a sense of community like nothing you've ever experienced. The sisterhood is so real at St. Mary's. Um, and on addition to all of these things, there are many statistics out there about the benefits of a women's college. You can see just a couple on this slide today, but I'd encourage you to spend some time looking up those benefits after uh, this presentation today. We all have Google, <laughs> so check it out. Um, student life on campus, we, as I said, are located just across the street from the University of Notre Dame and next door to Holy Cross College, which opens up hundreds of opportunities for our students. While you get all the incredible benefits of a women's college, you also have access to um, the community of you know, St. Mary's, Notre Dame, and Holy Cross combined. Um, we call ourselves the tri-campus community because we are truly located in a triangle um, if you were to do an aerial shot of campuses. Um, so we have 500 clubs and organizations that our students can join between the campuses. Our students are able to join clubs and organizations on the other campuses and vice versa. Um, so our students can join the Notre Dame marching band, attend sporting events on the other campuses, and sit in the student section that does include Notre Dame football games. Um, but we have tons and tons of opportunities throughout our community. Um, St. Mary's alone, you could never leave our campus and still have an incredibly fulfilling college experience. But if you want to expand that circle a little bit, get the best of both worlds and have co-ed interaction, you can do that too. Faith and spirituality is important at St. Mary's as a Catholic institution. We have opportunities for service. About 83% of our students complete some type of service during their time at St. Mary's. We have eight NCAA Division III teams and about 50% of our students study abroad. Our students are incredibly involved because again, we want to make sure that our students are well-rounded by the time they leave St. Mary's. So of course, growing academically, but personally, professionally, spiritually, and as an entire person. Um, the results you can see here, um, some impressive statistics about St. Mary's. Um, if you're interested in applying, there are a number of ways you can do that. We are on the Common App. It's free to apply. We have our own application as well. And it's important to note too that 100% of our incoming students do receive some type of financial aid. We'd love for you to stay engaged. You can do so by checking out stmarys.edu slash visit. Um, and thank you so much for attending today. Thank you, Cara. And our final college, St. Norbert's College. Take it away. Thank you. Let me just get my screen shared here. Well, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Cabrini Jablon, Senior Associate Director at St. Norbert and the counselor that works with both Trinity and Fenwick, two of my favorite schools whom I have a lot of personal connection with. I graduated from Trinity and back in the day, at that time, Fenwick was still all male. So I was also able to participate in the Fenwick theater program and I was a Fenwick cheerleader. So I always love visiting both of your schools. I grew up in Riverside, Illinois, and after going to Trinity, I made my way to St. Norbert College and majored in communication and leadership studies and have worked here most of my professional career. St. Norbert is located just three hours north of the Chicagoland area in De Pere, Wisconsin. And we're about 2,000 undergraduate students that call our beautiful waterfront campus home. Our campus is within walking distance of boutiques and shops and coffee shops, restaurants, movie theaters. So there's plenty to do within walking distance of campus. Plus being right along the river, there's beautiful trails and a lot of opportunity for water sports. We're just also five minutes from Green Bay, Wisconsin, which is the third largest city in the state which provides additional access to great internship opportunities and additional cultural and entertainment options. St. Norbert is a private liberal arts college founded by the Norbertine Order. We're the only Norbertine college in the world, but the Norbertines are actually celebrating their 900th anniversary this year. And they're a little bit more popular throughout Europe as that's where they were founded. And we have over 200 abbeys throughout the European countries. 
The Norbertine order are known for their values of radical hospitality and communio. And those are two values we work really hard to instill in our students. Radical hospitality is something that we hope you'll experience for yourself if you have the opportunity to visit, and it really helps better understand it. But it does create a campus culture that's inclusive and where everyone feels welcomed. Communio encourages our students to respond to the needs of the local and global communities, and though not required, majority of our students do service on a regular basis. Communio was also part of our tight-knit campus community 98% of our students live on campus all four years. So we have a very active and vibrant campus life and the majority of our students stay on campus on the weekends. We have over a hundred acres of property with lots of green space and your living options are gonna range from traditional housing to apartments with fireplaces and underground parking and vaulted ceilings, as well as college owned houses within the community. Because most of our students stay on campus, there's lots to do on the weekends, and we have over 100 clubs and activities for our students to engage in. Everything from academic clubs, athletics, music and theater, Greek life, and a lot of faith-based and community service organizations. For our student athletes with us today, we have over 23 varsity sports. We have our men's hockey program that has five national championships. And some of our newer sport teams include men's volleyball and women's and men's swimming and diving, just to name a few. We have lots of school spirit on campus. When it comes to academics, we have over 80 programs of study. We're most well known for business, education, biology, pre-health, communication and psychology round up the top five. You do have the opportunity to create your own major as well as Follow in some of our partnerships and our pre-health programs, um, excuse me, our pre-professional programs like pre-law and our several healthcare options. You'll definitely be in a class taught by a professor and with our average class size being about 20 students and our science labs capped at 15. Our faculty's number one priority is to be available to our students for teaching and mentorship. Though they do do research, their number one priority is to teach in the classroom. And you'll have an academic advisor to work with on a regular basis to help prepare you for selecting your coursework, study abroad opportunities, and to keep you on track to graduate in four years, which is one of our top guarantees. And your relationship with your professors are also gonna help when it comes time to working with you on the job application process, applying to med school or graduate school, or also helping you prepare for volunteer service programs like the Peace Corps. We've done over $150 million with, it, with renovations within the last five years. So lots of great new facilities, including a major renovation to our sports center, adding a pool and additional workout facilities, relatively new library facilities, new cafeteria, upper class housing. And our largest project was our $50 million medical or um, $50 million renovation to our Gale Mulva Science Center which includes the Medical College of Wisconsin. So we're one of the few small liberal arts colleges that has a med school right on campus. Our cafeteria is rated number one in Wisconsin for food and number four in the nation. So we definitely hope you'll have an opportunity to come and try out our dining services. Everything is made fresh right here. We have a special station for students with allergies and dietary needs and a, a full sushi bar at a regular basis. We really encourage students to accomplish three to five things with their, while they're at St. Norbert, including study abroad or travel opportunities, getting involved in academic research, um, internships, and engaging in leadership and service. And we do hope that you'll have an opportunity to check us out. Um, I'm sorry, I thought this was my contact information, but it's my colleague Catherine's, but I can put my information in the chat but we have been open for campus tours since June. So definitely check us out online, schedule a visit, and hopefully I'll be able to visit Trinity and Fenwick this fall. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we've got one more quick thing before we head out for the day. I'm gonna have each of the colleges uh, go around and share 
one interesting or fun fact about your school. So we will start with the University of Notre Dame. Great. Well, I was thinking about this. And one thing that, um, one little fact that I don't know that a lot of people know about, but um, our, our iconic building is the main building on campus with the Golden Dome. And straight out in front of it uh, is what's called the main quad. And on that quad, there is a tree and there's a ring, very sturdy ring that's inserted in the tree. And what it represents and why it stays there is because that was actually where students, when, they, when the university first opened up in 1842, would bring their horses, and this is one of the remaining ones, and tie their horses to uh, the ring. And when you see where it is, and you see the large 1250 acre campus, and that it, this ring is right in the center of the campus, it just, it lends itself to how the expansion and the growth of the university. So it's kind of fun to try to find that ring. So when you come to campus this summer, please check it out. I love that. <laughs> um, Indiana University Bloomington, go ahead. Hello. So one of the most interesting things about the IU campus is we have two cemeteries on our campus. Um, and we also have a sculpture that hangs from our Luddy School of Engineering that has um, is the sculpture suspended from the ceiling and it responds to movement, noise, and light. So that's pretty interesting. Cool. St. Mary's University of Minnesota. Yeah. Um, one interesting or fun fact about our school is we actually have a hockey rink on campus um, that is open for not only our student athletes, but also for our general student population. Very Minnesota. Love it. <laughs> John Carroll University. Um, so I think this is an interesting fact, but um, John Carroll is actually a really strong communications and journalism major that I didn't speak about previously um, from our strong opportunities with the NBC News Meet the Press. But also in Chicago alone, we have two John Carroll alumni that are um, local, I would like to say quasi famous uh, news reporters, uh, Marianne Ahern from NBC News, and then also a John Carroll and Fenwick alum, Chris Ty, which is with the CBS News. Wow, very cool. Thank you. St. Mary's College, Indiana. Yeah, so an interesting fact about St. Mary's, um, one of my very favorite traditions that I think speaks to St. Mary's and who we are, every year we have two traditional ceremonies on campus. We have a uh, closing of the circle where our first year students come together and hold hands usually when they're not distancing <laughs> um, and really join together as one class. And then at the end of their four years, um, they actually do the opening of the circle to uh, signify going out into the world and opening their arms to the rest of the world, but just knowing that they're always part of that sisterhood and that community, both at the start and the end of their four years at St. Mary's. So that's a fun fact. Wow. Yeah. Wonderful. And St. Norbert College. Go ahead. Yes. Our fun fact is our cheerleaders are also the cheerleaders for the Green Bay Packer organization. And most of the squad is actually young women from Illinois. So they have to swallow their bear, bear pride on Packer game day. That's awesome. All right. Well, we have reached the end of our program. Thank you so much for joining us. When you close this window, there will be a link to a very quick four question survey, and we would appreciate any feedback you can provide. In about a week, you'll be able to find the session's recording as well as all other session recordings at strivescan.com backslash Friar Blazers. Thank you so much to our panelists for sharing your time, talent, and treasure. Thank you to the students and administrators for coming to um, participate in this program and have a wonderful rest of your day. <laughs>